brothers and sisters in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. by whose grace though sinners we are made just and though pitiable made blessed stand we pray by your works stand by your gifts that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever New Testament page 134 Reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verses 17 to 21. My judgment is that we should not trouble those of the Gentiles who turn to God. After Peter, after there had been much debate Peter stood up and said to them my brothers you know that in the early days God made a choice among you that I should be the one through whom the Gentiles would hear the message of the good news and become believers and God who knows the human heart testified to them by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did to us and in cleansing their hearts by faith, he made no distinction between them and us. Now therefore, why are you putting, the, putting God to the test by placing on the neck of the disciples a yoke that is neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we have been saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. The whole assembly kept silence and listened to Barnabas and Paul as they told of all the signs and wonders that God had done through them among the Gentiles. 
After they finished speaking, James replied, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related how God first looked favorably on the Gentiles to take from among them a people for his name. This agrees with the words of the prophets as it is written. After this, I will return and I will rebuild the dwellings of David, which has fallen from its ruins. I will rebuild it and I will set it up so that all other peoples may seek the Lord, even all the Gentiles over whom my name has been called. Thus says the Lord who has been making these things known from long ago. Therefore I have reached the decision that we should not trouble those Gentiles who are turning to God, but we should write to them to abstain only from things polluted by idols and from fornication and from whatever has been strangled and from blood. For in every city for generations past, Moses has had those who proclaim him, for he has been read aloud every Sabbath in the synagogues. The word of the Lord. The response is, tell among the nations the wonders of the Lord. O sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. The response, tell the nation among the wonders of the Lord. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Response. Tell among the nations the wonders of the Lord. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The word, the world he may form in his place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Response. Tell among the nations the wonders of the Lord. Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thomas, you have believed, says the Lord, because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 15, verses 9 to 11. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 11. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, In the first reading, the Paul and Barnabas, they were in front of the people of James and Peter for the approval of Gentiles, especially that they belong to Jesus Christ because of their belief, because of their complete faith in Jesus Christ, they, God has made them, God has made them as his own people. For this approval, they went to Peter and James and they explained what, what all the miracles they have performed in the name of Jesus Christ. And the James, 
who was in Jerusalem, he told to the people of Gentiles that God is the one who is going to restore the kingdom of David and he is going to rebuild the ruins of the walls and make it strong again and he is going to call upon all the human race as one chosen people. Today, all the people, those who are scattered, they all will come back to him. He is going to call back all the people as one nation. As he said in the book of Amos chapter 9, verses 11 and 12, which has been fulfilled through the proclamation of the kingdom of God by St. Paul and Barnabas. Today, Peter accepted the people of Gentiles, especially all those who believed in Jesus Christ, they all got the Holy Spirit, they received the Holy Spirit and they, they kept their faith in Jesus Christ and lived in that Spirit. Because of living in the Spirit, all the time the Spirit has protected them, the Spirit has got them in their lives and they were led by the Spirit. The Spirit all the time made them to pray fast and live only for Christ. Today, as James strictly commanded the people of Gentiles not to go for the idol worship and the food that is offered to the idols, he strictly commanded not to eat the idol food and they, he asked them to be ritually clean and asked them not to go for sexual immortality. The blood that is offered to the idols he commanded, he, he commanded the people of Gentiles not to eat the blood. There are some rituals which Moses has commanded. Uh, once again, St. James has explained to Gentiles, the, he asked them to sanctify themselves ritually to be clean whenever they entered in the Ark of the Tent so that when they worship the Lord, they must be ritually clean. Today, as we also entered in the holy temple, we must make ourselves clean by our thoughts, by our words, by our actions. We must leave everything and come inside the temple with the sanctification by our personal prayers, by asking Jesus to make us completely clean. As gospel says that, that if you keep my commandments, I abide in you and you in me. As Jesus was in the Father and the Father is in Jesus Christ, when we really keep the commandments of Jesus Christ, Christ dwells in us and we dwell in Christ. That's the gift of the Holy Spirit which Christ has given to each and every one of us, that he wants his Spirit to be, to be with us. He has commanded his Spirit over us so that we live in the Spirit and the Spirit makes us to show the Father and the Father will be revealed to us only with the help of the Holy Spirit. In this Holy Eucharist, pray for the people, all those who have received the Spirit. May the Spirit of the Lord lead each and every one of us into Christ. May the Spirit show us the right path so that we will be doing all the time the right and just the good things in Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who oh, by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that we have come to know your truth. We make it ours by a worthy way of life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who was taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, God of hosts, ever and death are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Tumabala Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coerced in eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Honor, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. 
forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen Christ died for all that those who live may live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and is risen alleluia let us pray graciously be present to your people we pray o lord and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life make this prayer to Christ our lord the lord be with you May almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass ascended go in peace and joy of christ hallelujah hallelujah amen in number 8